Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. All right, man. Man, listen. Last night debate was a good debate. I ain't going to lie. It was a good, good debate. Sorry. Hey, listen, I'm not going to edit nothing out this time. Putting some lotion on my face. Some people say putting lotion on your face ain't good. I don't know. I've been doing it for years. Maybe I need to stop, you know? All right, man, listen. Last night debate. Uh, before I get into that, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Uh, you want to donate, links in the description, cash app in the description. All right. All right, man. Good debate. I would say Joe Biden, I want to start with, I'm going to start with Trump this time. So a lot, I have a lot to say about Trump and I have a lot to say about Joe Biden. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, having them mute the mics, even though, I don't think they did. I think they did it one time. I think they did it one time to Trump. I think his mic got muted once. And it was towards the end of something he was saying. Maybe that was a good thing. Maybe that was a good thing. Trump. It's one thing I can say about Donald Trump. Like him or hate him, love him or not. It's one thing I can say about Donald Trump. He says the same thing all the time. The same thing. So when people say that Donald Trump's a liar, he's a liar, he's a liar. He's been saying the same thing all the time. The same thing. Now, whether you say it's a lie or not, it is what it is. But I'm thinking, that OK, if, if it's such a big lie, then why say the same exact thing all the time when someone can just call you out on it? And I haven't seen anyone call Donald Trump out on the things that they say he's lying about. Maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't seen it. Now, everything that we go, everything that most people say about Donald Trump when it comes to his presidency is his personal life. I got, I gathered all that today, this morning, and yesterday. Everything. Everything that most of y'all say about Donald Trump is about his personal life and what he did with his business. That man has been in business since the, the 70s. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. He's been in business since the 70s. Now, whether he was a crook all the way up until now, who knows? But he's been in business that long. So when you say stuff like, oh, this guy, uh, he's a crook or, or he doesn't pay taxes. And uh, listen, I'm just going to make this clear. If you guys don't know what y'all talking about, don't speak on it. I'm not going to disrespect nobody. I'm not going to say uh, y'all stupid and none of that. I'm just going to say, if you don't know anything about business and how taxes work and you going off of what CNN or MSNBC say, just stop. At least go do your research first. Right now, I can tell y'all right now what the talking point is going to be when he said, I'm the least racist in this room. Now, I can see why somebody would take that out of context. But at the same time, if y'all say that, if, if y'all get on here, I swear people get on here and say, oh, see, he he didn't want to say that he wasn't racist. He said he was the least racist, which means he's still racist. Listen, we all know that Donald Trump is not good at articulating himself when it comes to words. We know that we know we all know that. We all know that, but for some reason, but for some reason, what you looking at lady? But for some reason, we always seem to, to, how would I say, <clears throat> excuse me. We always seem to demonize him and, and micro, micro manage everything he say versus anything that Joe Biden, Joe Biden can say something clearly that is off the record, off the books, off the cuff, off whatever. And y'all don't micromanage that. 
I don't see nobody saying anything about that. You see how fast that Proud Boys, oh, it's not even, it's not the Proud Boys anymore. Now it's the Poor Boys. You see how fast that went away. Because once everybody found out that the, the, the leader of the Proud Boys is not white, then it's like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. And he even tried to bring that up. That just shows to show you that a lot of these politicians, they don't really be, they don't really be uh, in tune to what's really going on. They just go off of just like everybody else. Most of them just go off of headlines. They don't really go do research. And obviously Joe Biden hasn't done any research when he's still bringing up the, the, the proud boys and calling them the poor boys. So that's that. As far as what Trump said last night, you can't really go against his record and what he has done. Now, let me say this about COVID. There's only, to me, out of everything last night, I think that the COVID debate may be a debatable win for Biden, I would say. But here's the thing. And this is the reason why I would say it's debatable. And most people got to understand this. And I'm not making any excuses for Trump. First of all, let's just be clear. When Trump said, when he said, it's not my fault, it's not Biden's fault, it's China's fault. Let's just be straight. Like, I wish everybody stand on the same page when it comes to that, when it comes to the, the COVID. I wish everybody stand on the same page because we all know that it's not Trump's fault that this happened. Now, I'm so sick and tired of people saying that he could have did anything earlier. Listen, I don't understand. I don't think y'all understand what a pandemic is, right? You could have. Here's the thing. If Trump would have came out and said, there's about to be a pandemic. First of all, you don't know because it goes from epidemic to pandemic, right? You can't just say it could be a, 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 a small, a small group of people that are, uh, that are, um, how would I say that are infected, right? But even if he came out and said, and this is not me making any excuses. I'm just, I'm just telling y'all what it really is. Even if Trump came out and said, said, Hey, listen, in China, there is a virus that's going around. We need to be prepared for it because it's coming, right? That still wouldn't have had stopped the virus from spreading. Everything that Trump did, him and his administration, they had to come up with a plan because whether people say Barack Obama left a, uh, he left a whole, a whole, um, a, a disease specialist panel or whatever you want to call them, he left them there. And Trump fired him. If they wasn't, if they wasn't being used, of course I can understand why Trump fired him. But listen, even with them there, they still didn't have a plan for an outbreak. That's the thing. So when people say stuff like, "Oh, Obama had a, had people in place for this," he didn't have a plan either. Because if that was the case, then uh, years before. When Obama was in office, when Obama and uh, uh, Biden was in office with the with the uh, Ebola virus and the H1N1 and all that stuff, it would have been taken care of and they would have had all that stuff. So when people talk about Trump and, and, and I can say I can say that that was a debatable thing because Biden made some good points. But at the same time, I commend Trump for doing what he did with COVID at, in a short period of time that he had. We still in we're still in this year. That's what we want to understand. He did more for co for COVID in six months than by, um than Joe Joe and Obama did in in two years or a year. Some say three. So when people say stuff like that, and and and, and, and it's fair it's not fair to really. Uh, compare those two diseases because COVID is it, the, the transmission rate is much more higher than those other diseases. But at the same time, I think those diseases are much more lethal. So, but the thing is, he did what he had to do. He came up with all the phases and every governor, every governor said that he did a good job. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason why I believe that the governor said that he did a good job. It's not because they really believe that he did a good job. I believe that they said he did a good job so they can get the funding. Once they got the funding, they turned their back on him. And Trump is not stupid. See, this is what people got to understand. It's all about money 
when it comes to these diseases and these companies and these and everything it's about money you know what i'm saying if you believe that these companies out here really care about your well-being and these these governments and these uh they don't care about your well-being they don't they care about how they can spin it to make money period is nothing you can't get around that you can't how can we make money off of this how so and how can we how can we suppress the people and still make money in our and line our pockets? This is the reason why Nancy Pelosi and them are are um are asking for more money and Trump saying no, I'm not gonna give y'all more money because y'all had a lot of money that y'all didn't even use yet. So what y'all want to do is y'all want to take this money to give to y'all friends. I'm not doing it. So we'll forget about that. But anyway, so you gotta understand. When people blame Trump for, for the uh, for the COVID virus, it's two reasons why I never take that argument. One is because he didn't start the virus. So that's out the window. Two is because he don't run the states. The only thing he does is federal fund the states. So when the states run the states, let's just get that out there. So when y'all say that Trump is the reason why the states run the states, every governor is on record saying that Trump did a good job. So who are you to say that Trump didn't do a good job when every governor who runs the states is saying that Trump did a good job? Now, if you want to if you want to uh, argue because you feel like he didn't do a good job, that's not a fact. The fact is they're on record saying that that's the facts. That's not that's not what's the name. That's number two. And then y'all got to really y'all got to understand that when the states run the states, the governor, I mean, um, the the um the president can't intervene. The only thing he can do is give them federal funding or give them things that they need. Everything that they asked for, they needed. This dude, um, uh, Andrew Cuomo asked for forty thousand ventilators, and he didn't even need that. He asked for forty thousand. Like, come on. So, so we all know that that these hospitals and these these clinics they get paid for people people um getting um these covid tests or people being diagnosed with covid we all know that they get paid um for the ventilators that they get we all know how it goes we know how it goes and it, and and so when people say stuff like oh it's trump's fault could Trump have let the uh people know yes but y'all got to do take into consideration that if he had did that First of all, you have to ease that in. in like, come on, man. Y'all know better than this. You got to ease that in. You can't just go out and say that uh, we're, we 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 need to lock everything down. It don't work like that because if he had to do it, the best thing he could have did was hold it until he felt as though it was good enough to go. Because y'all thinking, y'all thinking that he's hiding something. That's not the case. If you're the president of the United States and we said, I didn't want to cause a panic. To me, that's the best thing to do, because if you go out and say that everybody is going to die from COVID, it would have been mass hysteria. Everybody would have been going crazy. If you think people was buying toilet paper, like you think Trump came out and said, hey, listen, everybody's going to die. And then on top of that, you y'all don't even like Trump. Most of y'all. So most of y'all that don't like Trump and don't listen to Trump, y'all think y'all would have listened to him then? And then all them governors who or, who were going against what he said? At in the beginning, oh, if this is like a cold, don't worry about it, it'll go away. Bill de Blasio, all of them was saying that. They all were saying it. So when they when 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 people blame Trump for that, I don't take that argument because they all was saying the same thing and they all was briefed on it. So don't tell me about Trump when he don't run the states. So that COVID argument is done. I'm I'm sick of it. It's done. Don't tell me about uh um him him uh could have did better. He did the best he could. And the, the governors are the ones that run the states. So when you when you blame Trump on the deaths, you have to blame the governors. Oh, 200,000 people on his watch. The only reason why they're telling y'all that, they're saying that, is because they know that y'all don't know. They know that most of y'all don't do no research. And this is the reason why they're saying that. But when you go to find out who runs the states, then you'll understand why. Now, I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming nobody. And none of these people for the deaths, because that's tragic and things happen.
But you got to but you also got to take into consideration, which I think a lot of people are not saying uh, uh, only about out of all the people that died from COVID, only about less than 10,000 people actually died from the coronavirus, period. Let's just let's just be clear. The rest of the people die because they had either pre-existing conditions, comorbidities or whatever you want to call it. That's what it was. But it wasn't that everybody died from COVID because it was at one point where someone would go in from a car accident and they'll die from a car accident. And they'll say that because they had COVID, they'll rule that, rule that as a COVID death. Come on. Like, y'all know this. Like, why y'all why are y'all playing? Y'all know this. So either way, that argument is done for me. I don't want to hear nothing when it comes to COVID and Trump being the prob the reason why. Because first of all, you can't stop a pandemic. The, the whole world is affected. So when you say, oh, everybody, oh, Trump's the reason why, no. The whole world's infected. So if, if, if there was a virus here and Trump started it, and he, I don't know if he did an experiment and he had some concoctions in a, in a lab and he said, yeah, we're going to give the people this because it helps people. And, they, and then I can say, yeah, that was his fault. But when you have a, 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 um, a country that does something and nobody's holding them accountable for it, every person that's on this or that's watching this that either agree that disagrees with me y'all not holding y'all not holding china accountable for the covid y'all not because when you say it's trump's fault then you totally bypassing everything you know how it goes you drive a car without a license and then you kill somebody they're gonna say it was your fault even though you can drive they're gonna say well who why would you drive in in the first place that's what they're gonna say. It was your fault. So let's just let's just keep that out the way. Anyway, so that argument is done for me. Then he talked about uh, he talked about they brought up Iran and 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 uh, him having a, a, a what they call that a bank account in China. And Trump cleared that up real quick and said that he had the bank account before he was president. Now, here's the thing. Again, and I seen Obama say this yesterday. He said he has a he has a bank account in China. So I can imagine if I had a bank account in China. Listen, there's a lot of people who have a bank account in China. And I don't know why y'all trying to make this out to be like a, a scandal because you have a bank account in, in another country. How does that make how that how is that a scandal? How? How are, are you directly tied to them because the, the, the you have a bank account with their country or not even their country just wherever in that in their country you're directly tied to the government out there and the government out there and you are somehow collude or with this collusion of money because you have that's come on man y'all need to stop y'all need to stop y'all need to stop this is a businessman he has businesses all over the world let's just be clear that's number one. Number two, um, here's the thing about Biden. And I want to speak on Biden real quick. Biden's a liar. It was a good debate because he came out and he didn't really, he, he had a lot of little stumbles here and there and he kind of forgot a couple of things. But he didn't look presidential at all to me. Trump looks like he's the leader, period. Trump looks like he's the leader. Whether y'all like it or not, whether y'all love him or hate him, he looks like he's the leader. And my problem with Biden, Kamala, and all, even Obama, they always trying to act like you're stupid. And they always, they always trying to talk to you like, like, you, like you are some type of dummy or a child. It's like, stop with these scenarios. When Trump said, the best part of that debate last night is when Trump said, you're talking like a politician. That was the best part of the debate to me because that really hit me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anything else that was said, I could be like, whatever. But that right there, when he said that, and Biden had a lot of things he said. Biden brought up the fact that, whole thing about, 
he's trying to kill the the uh, uh, health care system and Obamacare. Let's just be clear. Nobody likes Obamacare. I don't know why y'all trying to act as if people love that. Nobody likes Obamacare. The premiums are too high and most people don't even want it. Like, Let's just be clear. Now he's saying that he didn't drop. Uh, no one was was gonna, no one's gonna be dropped, or he didn't drop anybody off the health care plan that he had. That uh, they did. That's a lie. It's a bunch of different things that that Joe Biden said last night. He said that his son didn't have. He didn't know about his son having any dealings with uh, uh, the Ukrainian government and China. And uh, that's a lie. Like, come on, man. Let's just, just let's just be honest here now. Do I believe that Joe Biden is the right person for the job? When Trump said last night, you've been in office for 47 years and you haven't done it. And in the last at last eight before me, you haven't done nothing. I really believe that that really hit a lot of people. And he kept driving that. That's another thing that he said when he when they talked about race. And again, why are y'all making black people? We are Americans like everybody else. Why do y'all make us the center of attention all the time? When you treat black people like that, you always going to isolate and alienate them. You always going to do that. I wish that the government, uh, I ain't going to say the government. I wish, I really wish that all these media outlets and all these talking heads stop doing this. Stop. Because as, as long as you keep saying and, and talking about things that you can't factually prove, because most of y'all can't factually prove any of this stuff. It's going to always be there. We are Americans the same way that white people are American, the same way that Asian people are Americans. You got to stop separating. When you say, oh, there is systemic racism. Just because you didn't get hired at a job doesn't mean as it's just that the system is racist. Now, in certain cases, back in the day, yes. But right now, I totally don't believe that. Totally. And people that, people that say, oh, there is. They can't really give me any reason why. They just go off of what they say or what other people say. Because when you ask them to give me some, give me some uh, 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 things that you would say is systemically racist and they can't tell you, they can't, they'd be like, oh, uh, uh, well, because now I'm sure that there's some people out there who really are smart enough to do it. Not saying that everybody can't, but I'm sure there is. But even with that, there's laws put into place that combat that. So when you say, oh, you can't do stuff, there's affirmative action. There's a, a bunch of different laws. Well, I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, so when he talked about the thing of race, Biden, Biden said the typical white politician answer. He said that. But he didn't, well, he did not tell you what he did. Now, he would have been, and, and he did say this, and I and I commend Biden for that. He said that what he did was a mistake. Now, whether he's lying or not about it, who knows? He's, I mean, who knows? Maybe he's saying that, whatever. But let's just give him a point for that because he did say it. So he said that that he he felt bad about it. But here's my thing: How did you feel bad about something that you wrote when there were black leaders in in the Democratic Party who asked for that? How did you feel bad for that? You saying you felt bad that y'all locked up a whole nation of black men? When Trump said that, I think a lot of black people got to understand that that's not, that's not a lot. Now, as far as the Central Park Five, when Trump said they hope they all get the death penalty, I disagree with that. I think that he was wrong for that. Now, I don't know the whole story about the Central Park Five, so I'm not gonna. Uh, what's the name? I just know that they were found innocent. So I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna go off of of and 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 start to say stuff I don't really know something about. I just know that they were found innocent. Then Trump was wrong for saying that. That's just that. That doesn't make him a racist because he said he said a lot of things about about white people too. It doesn't make him a racist. So I'm just 
that's just that. Um, also, when Trump said, you locked up mostly black men. If I was Trump, I would have said, but what about your son, Hunter? He does drugs. How come he's not in prison? He was with drug dealers. How come he's not in prison? If he would have said that, that right there. But see, Biden had a good counter. He said, they learned more from it. Instead of locking people up, they use it as it's a sick, it's a disease, and basically they get help. We all know that that's how it is now. So I commend Biden for that too. Trump had something to say about that. And he said, you know, you, you wrote the crime bill, which locked up all these black people. So when you say, when you say stuff to me about me being racist, you wrote a crime bill that locked up all these black people. Look what I did for black people. Look what I did. Now he's making a case that he done more for black people than any other president since Abraham Lincoln. That could be argued. And, and people probably look at me like I'm crazy. They probably saying that's crazy. No, that could be argued. That really can be argued because if you break it down, a good, a good, a good portion of what he's saying. Now, I'm not saying that he was better than all these other presidents, but as for the black community, the opportunity zones, the lowest unemployment, the, uh, uh, the HBCUs, uh, uh, the prison reform, the uh, uh, a bunch of different things. So when you say stuff like that, Biden can't say anything like that because he's been in office all these years and he never did that. The only thing he did was write a crime bill. And Trump wrote a bill to release the people. So when you say, when you say stuff like Trump's a racist, but then you ask, ask yourself, what did Trump do for black people and you can't say, oh, because he's trying to secure the black vote because nobody cares about the black vote no more. Let's just get let's just be clear. Nobody cares about the black vote no more. Like. Nobody cares. The Democrats want the black vote, but I'm telling you, once they open the borders up the way they want it, they're not going to care about the black vote. So let's just keep it like that. But the black vote is important, but I just don't think that a lot of people don't really care too much because they think that they made their mind up. And a lot of black people support Trump. So and you ask yourself all the things that Trump did in three years for black people versus all the things that that Biden did in 47, 47 years as a politician against black people. He even went toward when he went head to head with Clarence Thomas about him being a um, Supreme Court justice. He tried to get him out of here. Come on, man. Let's just be clear. So in closing, the debate to me was a great debate. I think that as the time went on, I gave one point to Biden, but as the time went on, I think Trump just dominated the debate. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a no contest debate to me because Trump looked presidential. He looked like he knew what he was doing. And when you said, when he said that, He's uh he's gonna be soft on China or whatever. Come on, man. Let's be serious. Donald Trump has made a lot of countries pay the United States back. <laughs> like you can't get around it, man. Y'all could y'all could try to dance around that if y'all want. Y'all can't. Y'all can't get around it. So I think Donald Trump won. I won us uh, the score. I tallied it up. It was four to one. I gave I gave him all. It was a five, a score of a five, but it was four to one. I'll even go. I even say that um, that maybe it was a debatable thing with the uh, the COVID, and that was the the only point that I probably would if I had to choose, because I think he had a, a a legitimately better argument than Trump on COVID, but I think that Trump really like it's really nothing he could 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 have did no one could have did and the thing about biden and his whole thing is biden is saying biden is saying the same thing that he would he would have did that trump already did so let's just get that out the way all right man torture talk like subscribe to the page man y'all take good care have a good 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 weekend man